What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I didn't really film an intro for this video. To sum it up, I'm moving locations. I was in my first Airbnb that you guys saw in the first vlog for a month and then recently I switched over to this one. As you can see, I have a new background. And moving forward, I think I wanna bring back the day in the life series that I used to do. I feel like that'll be a good way to get more music incorporated into these videos because I know you guys like music and I like making music. So I'm definitely gonna do that moving forward. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Gavin Hadley underscore if you haven't already. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel pushing out videos every other day. It's been super, super fun so far and I love it. Enough of me talking, let's get into the video, which is more of me talking. <laughs> We have quite the day in front of us right now. I'm about to record a video for YouTube and then I need to start packing up my crib and making the move to my new place. I'm beyond excited to go to the new place because it's just more than one room. I'll be giving you guys a tour obviously. So yeah, I gotta record this tutorial, start packing everything up. I think I'm probably gonna make like two trips um, back and forth with all my stuff, but I will keep you guys along for the ride. These right here are no joke guys. It's like all I eat. <laughs> Everything is packed up. This is actually my second trip back. I got everything. Now it's time to set up the crib. This is awesome. So I'm all situated. I'm gonna show you guys the current setup, everything that I have going here. Um, I'll start with the kitchen. This whole kitchen is bigger than my last place. Feels good. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> look how dry the fridge is. I need to go shopping bad. That is, it's tough. Got the washer and dryer here. Didn't have one of those before. Um, and I'm getting this all at like the same price as last month. So it's just the winds across the board. Here we have our living room. We have our TV over there. And here's the setup. So um, is it ideal? Eh, it's debatable. I mean, it, it's gonna get the job done. It's better than last month's for sure. I like this painting right there. That is our setup that we're rocking with for the next, it's not a month, it's like three weeks. Coming on in to the bedroom now turn on the light so you guys can see this bedroom again bigger than my last crib combined we have bed right here um, we got a closet closet is basically bigger than the last crib honestly and then a bathroom a full bathroom with the shower that doesn't get cold after six minutes <laughs> as you can see i really enjoyed my stay last month as tough as it was it was good really good for me that's the crib now it's time to relax for a little bit because i've kind of tired and then I gotta edit my video, so yeah, and do a bunch of other stuff, so I'll see you on the flip side. I've been settled in for like two days now, honestly. I just finished editing my next video. I, or, I don't know, I'm confusing myself with all this stuff right now, but basically, that's all good. Not that it matters at all. I'm gonna go on a run now to kind of break things up a little bit, give myself a little bit of a break. I need to start running again, so I'm gonna run. And then the plan is to work on some starters. Just because my weeklies are already pretty stacked up, I'm maxing out my weeklies at about only 12 per week because I feel like any more than that, honestly, that's probably overkill because people that use your packs are usually only gonna use probably at most like three loops, four loops. So just why put all those loops in the packs? Sometimes that's what I think. So I'm limiting myself to 12, I'm already past that. So I'm gonna take these next two days to work on starters to collab with other people because I think that's a pretty good usage of my time. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go run, I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna go eat and take care of all that and I'm the yeah but, mm -hmm. <laughs> there is one thing that I've learned about myself today is that I'm in not any sort of shape for anything except loops I think it's the combination of me being out of shape elevation and oh boy <laughs> it's fun though I love it run complete so instead of running far distances. I'm prone to run say like five or six miles or do like mountains now that I'm here. I'm not doing that anymore. What I'm doing is just something simpler every single day. The, the thing is with me with running is that I've always struggled with consistency. So I think that by running just I'm only gonna run this route that I did. I don't even know how much it was like maybe like two and a half three miles and start doing that daily and just doing it consistently. That is gonna be so much more worth my while than killing myself with these huge giant workouts that I feel good doing in the moment, but like they're not sustainable for me right now. That's the plan moving forward with running. So I just, I wanna get consistent with that as well. So that's just gonna help everything work more smooth. And I feel like you can apply it to music too. Instead of going crazy saying, I'm gonna make 10 loops today, how about, all right, you could make 10 loops today or you could make two loops a day every day. Which one? <laughs> Sorry, I'm editing right now and I, that made me laugh, that was just, 
a wonderful statement on my end. <laughs> that is all. I don't have any food. Either I get food tonight, or I did make a little bit of a beat sale today so I could treat myself and get Cafe Rio. I probably should just go to the store and get food, but Cafe Rio sounds really good, and I feel like I've... I got Cafe Rio and it was extremely good. It's Friday now, I got here on Monday, so I've been here for about five days and it's been super, super good so far, especially now because I recently figured out that I can actually turn on some heat because I was freezing. And let me tell you, if you're a guitar player playing with cold fingers, oh, terrible. It's like when you play video games and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about at all, but when you hop on the sticks and you try to move around and just your hands feel all slow and stuff, it's it's the same thing on guitar, except worse, it, it's not fun. So I'm so glad I have heat. That's, that's a game changer for sure. This place has been so, so cool. Yeah. I'm so grateful to have this place. It's just really, it's a big upgrade from last month's. Again, for like that same price. I don't really have too much else to talk about. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, appreciate you. As always, I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.